Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is Git surface type. So Git surface type gives us back the physics surface type that we have set up if we're using something like a physics surface material so we can do something with it. Let's run our example. I'm going to hit play. If I shoot our little character over here, you can see it says default in the top left corner. But if I shoot my cube, you'll notice it says grass. So there's two ways to get the surface type. Off of a hit itself, you have a get surface type node that returns back an enumeration of the surface that you hit. Or if you break the hit itself and then grab the physical material, you can get the surface type from that, as you can see here. If we were to look at our settings, we have our cube here. We scroll down to our collision. There's a physical material override. If we go to our character here and we scroll down to our collision, somewhere in here, probably way down here. No, I probably fat passed it, didn't I? Okay, this is what search is for. Oh, right there. It's right there at the bottom too. Physical material override, you'll notice it shows none. So that's why we get back the default result. In this one, if we find it again after we just lost it, we open it up, we'll look in here, and you'll notice the surface type is set to grass. you notice we have default, grass, and dirt. I can change this to dirt, for example. Hit play, and when we shoot this, you'll notice it says dirt. The physical types are in your project settings. Under physics, if we scroll to the bottom, you have a bunch of different surface types. You can have up to 62 of them. And you can see in here the default is default, and grass and dirt are two that I added. In regards to an issue you might run into, the surface type itself only comes back if you're using a simple collision check or a simple trace check. So in this case, I have trace complex. If I check this, and we go ahead and hit play again, we fire at the players, we get default like we expect. And if I fire at the box, well, we get default again. Because I'm not doing a simple collision check, our surface type is not going to be returned. So that is something you need to keep in mind. You want to do a simple check if you're going to go against a physical material that you can see here if you want to get the surface type. Now in terms of using this, they're basically flags. So you can add them to items in your physical materials, like maybe your floor, you want to be a floor or concrete or wood, and use them as identifiers so when you do traces, Maybe your character is walking, do a trace down, get the surface type, and then change the sound or reverberation settings or anything like that appropriately based on the surface type that you're hitting with your traces. And that's it. Those are the get surface type nodes. Remember, one comes off of the direct hit result. The other one comes off of the physical material off of your hit result. 